agents pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime. Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their... You know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the... zealots apart myself.
Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Coldridge prison while waiting for the executioner? Well, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. gives me the creeps. Didn't old Granny Rags used to live right here? Who? That crazy old lady? They say she used to be a noblewoman until her whole family died off. They say she sold them to the outsider. How about this? You do your damn job, and I'll watch out for scary old ladies.
teach him to best make cards. Maddie, don't chase after uh, that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. Are you looking forward to the party? Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on, once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here, as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style. Or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. I damn, I want some wine. I can't say they didn't have it coming. Teach him to best made cards, the half wit. What did she expect? I told her they were trash. Invitation, please. <coughs> right this way, sir. I should cut them out entirely. All of them. Ah, Mr. Bunting. Just Welcome, had someone sir. here pretending oh, to be. We have a game to Welcome. Make. Esma, Lydia, and Waverly are wearing identical costumes in white, black, and red. You'll have to work out which of your hosts is wearing which color. Good luck. Another party game. <laughs> It was fun for a sea. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Most of the guests are inside. Might be best if you join them. The party. I hope you're not lost, sir. You'll find everything inside. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Things are bad. Excuse me, Could my the city cousin get is a mosh Indeed, I believe of so. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the watch to impress people. Your obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end?
smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? Did you hear about Mrs. Brimsley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Fine to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? Welcome to the party. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. Is it true that more bone charms have been taken from apostates since the plague started? You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation, as I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I said I could get you out of the city, away from all this, to Sir Konos or further? I don't believe you, but if you're telling... <laughs> Bless you. Stop at once. Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. This is a private conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. Here's a mystery. Are you perhaps with the Campbells, my darling? A cousin. people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died, and the plague too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something calls this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. I what say nothing I against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boils, at least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't get rid of the rats. Rat lights and whale oil. That's all we live for now. We found out what the whales could do, and it made us an empire. This is the beginning of a golden age. Do you know they've dug down and found the ruins of another city under this one? Before the overseers. Before anything. I bet they thought they were in a golden age, too. You need another drink, friend. Good evening. If you see Pendleton, make sure he goes outside to the garden to see Lord Shaw. Hello, sir. It'll be a good show. That's quite a mask. Are you on the guest list? Did you see old Shaw loitering outside? You can bet he's waiting for Pendleton to show up. The tobacco is getting more expensive by the day. Okay, move it along. Try Miss White in the moth mask. I hear she's lonely. I'm not here for conversation. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade? Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. Please, do you mind not interrupting us? Lord Shaw's waiting for Pendleton in the garden, but I don't think he's coming. Poor Trevor. Everyone will know he's a coward now. Welcome to the party. Evening, sir. Who brought him, I wonder? Lord Brisby has arrived. It wasn't Mrs. Brimsley. 
I'm Jane Blair. It's my first time here. Did you know Lord Shaw right is waiting there. for Pendleton outside in the garden? That man scares me. Ooh, Scary mask. Me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. Oh. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Hello, sir. Well, what is it? for the cameo. Absolutely not. I don't know you or your family. Welcome you to the saw him too. An unfortunate lapse of taste. Hello, sir. What is it? It's tacky for a hostess to drink. Someone should tell Esma. What do you mean you'll save my life? What? Why? Enjoy Who yourself. sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. Good evening. But Enjoy I won't wait yourself. long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. You saw I'm him sure too. in a few drinks, I'll find an unfortunate mask. lapse of taste. Society isn't what it was. Step back, sir. I don't believe we're acquainted. Doing all right there. No guests past this point. Quickly, let's get her on board. At last. 
Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. What can I get for you? What can I get for you? Enjoying yourself? I love that mark on the back of your Doing hand. all right there? Now where have my friends gone? Don't you think this color suits me? Do you want to join us for hunting next year in the month of wind? Do cheer up. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. The contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so.
I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. <laughs>